Hello, everybody. Welcome to the long-awaited return of Bronze and Rants, where I get angry about things, or sometimes just want to talk about things. Like today, Nintendo. Uh, if you've been paying attention, you recently know Nintendo lost roughly $350 million. Now, to some of you, you're saying they're doomed. Nintendo is doomed. And then some of you bothered to go look up their financials and realized that they have $15 billion that they have in their war chest. And they kind of, this, this, is, this is a problem. It is a big problem. But if they needed to, they could operate like this for a while. Uh, I don't think that's going to be the case. Nintendo has the has had the ability to turn things around really quick. Uh, they're a company that is very smart. Uh, they, I just feel that when it comes to home consoles, they don't understand their market. But I'll get more into that later. Uh, as for <clears throat> as for why they lost this money, uh, it's largely thanks to the Wii U. They said the 3DS underperformed, which I'm thinking really. Like, that thing is the best-selling handheld and best-selling console right now. It has all the best games and it underperformed. I'm sorry, Nintendo, not everything is going to be the Wii or the DS Lite. It just isn't going to happen. Uh, continuing on with this, though, the main problem was the Wii U. Uh, they expected to sell 9 million consoles. They have sold almost 3. And... You're probably thinking, okay, well, that's because it was too expensive. It didn't have games. Is it? But the thing is, it had games. Like, it had some really great games. Uh, Lego City Undercover was great. Monster Hunter was great. Zombie U was pretty damn good for a launch title. Uh, you you know, Mario 3D World was one of our, our top three games of last year. Wind Waker HD is our best remake of last year. Wonderful 101 is a fun little side project. People had different opinions on Sonic Lost World, but the general opinion is, is it's between average and great, depending on who, uh, depending on how you felt about the game. And then you had, uh, <clears throat> and then you had the virtual console releases, which you know who doesn't want to play Super Metroid, Super Mario World on the tablet. Uh, so. Then you talk about the price. Well, okay, $350 was a bit much, but $300 for the system with a quality game, or in the case of the one of the bundles, two quality games, uh, doesn't that seems like a pretty damn good deal, uh, you know, as far as the new console goes, but people still aren't biting. And I think that's because uh, everyone loves Nintendo games. Uh, they're, they're, they may be targeted at children, to young teens, but everyone loves them. They're well made, fun. They look great. They just, I mean, look like mention Animal Crossing. Someone like, oh, I love Animal Crossing. I love Pokemon. I love Mario. I love Zelda. Like you talk to the average gamer and you start listing off Nintendo franchises, and they just flip out. Or at least they'll find at least one that they really like. You know, even if it is just. Hey, yo, you like Super Smash Brothers? Yeah, I love, Super, I love Smash. I love Mario Kart. Uh, but the problem is the hardware is the issue because just people don't give a shit about the Wii U. The, like, the hardcore market who loves Nintendo was like, this thing is, un that, that loves those Nintendo games and grew up with them. It's like, this thing is underpowered. It's not getting any of the third-party games that the the... PS4 and Xbox One are going to get, and it's just it's just not li like it's just not powerful enough. It's not high tech enough. It's not modern enough for that crowd. And then the casual crowd who made the Wii or largely made the Wii what it was. People like my mom. People like you know people like that. Then they look at that tablet. They're like, what is this thing? Like, I remember when I. I got the Wii U, and my, I told her, oh, hey, it's the next Wii. She looked at that tablet and was like, why would anyone want to use this? What is this thing? What in the world are you doing? And then the Wii U, quite frankly, for its first six months, six to eight months, until they released that firmware update in September, ironically enough, right time, around the time Zelda came out, uh, 
it it had slow, laggy, bullshit firmware. Uh, its firmware was broken, and just everything was too slow. I, I feel, feel as that system was released, it, it, it reminds me of the Sega Saturn just so much. Uh, just third-party ports on it looked like shit. It was it was fucking underpowered, and even though it's going to have some amazing games, you know, it's Dragon Force, it's Panzer Dragoon, you know, it's Shining Force, it's going to have some, some Virtual Fighter, some of these fantastic games that you can only get on it. The general public is not going to give a shit, and it's going to sell horrible in North America. Even though it's going to get, you know... And the question is, okay, what can Nintendo do to turn it around? Or turn the Wii U around? I'm, honestly, I'm not sure if it can. I, I think that, the, in my opinion, the best course of option is to keep your hardcore Nintendo fans happy... And just wait till your next system. And how do you keep hardcore Nintendo fans happy? You release great Nintendo games. You try. You at least try to get third parties supported. I mean, Sega is supporting the system, and so is Platinum Games. Uh, but you know, you try. You say, "Hey, Capcom, look, here's a pile of money. Make a new 2D Mega Man for us." Hey, you know, and you just try and cater to the Nintendo fans and uh, the hardcore gamers that are within that. And that are going to buy your system because the casuals are never going to do it uh, until your next system, and that that's just plain and simple. So, you know, yeah, these Nintendo, you you might have to ride out the next three years, just you know, making your money off the 3ds, taking losses until you put out that next system that blows everyone away, gets their you know, cha you change your ways where it's easy to develop on, you got third parties involved, you you know, you do all this stuff that makes it a system that's comparable with your competition. Maybe maybe not as comparable, uh, but at least in the ballpark and you have and you please your fans. Now, the other route they could take, if they want to, they really insist on the Wii U being a success, is, uh, you know, drop the tablet. You're like, oh, what? Drop the tablet, da 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 oh, People bought it for the tablet, the tablet's cool features. I, yeah, but you want to know what's really more appealing than a tablet? Being able to play great games on a system that is $200. I mean, when, when, you're, when your competition is twice as much as you, uh... And you both have amazing games because right now the Wii U has the best library of any of these next gen consoles. Not, granted, it's been out a year longer, but it's a fact. Best library, and that's gonna that's gonna continue throughout the like for a, at least a little bit. I'd say by the end of next year, it could be debatable. But you got Bayonetta, you got Project Dex, you got Mario, or Mario Kart coming. You got Donkey Kong coming. You got all these really big franchises coming. So you got all these games coming, and. Like, I think Nintendo could... They could drop the tablet or just eat losses on the system sales. Bust it down to $200. Say, hey, look, we're cheaper. We're not going to be as powerful, but we're cheaper. Or have as many media options, but we're going to be cheaper and have great Nintendo games. And also, and also, I think they should embrace indies. Because indies can run on that platform fine. Go to the Octodad guys and say, hey, we want Octodad also. Go to, you know, go to Z-Board and say, we want Cosmic Star Heroin just like Sony. We want all these great games, you know, and we're willing to pay some money for them. Nintendo, uh, that's the other option. So it's either, it's either hole up with the Wii U, continue just pleasing Nintendo fans, release Mario, release Zelda, release Metroid, release Pokemon, Animal Crossing, da 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 da, -da until your next system, which is more friendly for third-party developers, indies, etc., and can, can compete with your competition, or make the Wii U a low-cost option that has great games for kids, casuals, and hardcore gamers who just don't want to bite the bullet on a $400, $500 system. Those are the those are your options right now, Nintendo. Uh, obviously, who knows? Maybe Smash Brothers and Mario Kart get people to flip out, and just a bunch of Wii U's get sold, and things change. But as as of right now, the, that's pretty much their two options, in my opinion. 
Uh, I hope Nintendo turns around. I love Nintendo, and it also like yeah, it, Sony has a huge focus on games, and that's primarily what they're fo- primarily what they're focused on with the PlayStation. But Nintendo is the only one left that is games only. That is all they do is video games. You know that that's it. That is their one focus, and they they have some of the best games and best franchises out there. You know. Like, I look back at my entire lifetime, and it's just filled with great Nintendo experiences. Yeah, Sony's there, and Microsoft is there, but, like, I think that's some of my all-time favorites. You know, Final Fantasy VI, that was on a Super Nintendo, I know it's third party. Chrono Trigger, same, same deal. You know, Mega Man X, same deal. You know, but then there was stuff that was Nintendo made, Mario 64, Ocarina of Time, Metroid Prime, Super Metroid, Animal Crossing... The, you know, Nintendo obviously has some of the all-time classics paired with them, and I, I hope one day they do return to being like the Super Nintendo, where it's easy to develop for, and it's a powerful system that third parties are supporting, but we still get these great Nintendo hits. Uh, anyway, that's been Bronson Rants. Uh, hopefully What the Hail is going to return sometime soon. I'm not sure when. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to be filling that void. Yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, peace out. See you in the next two weeks. Access granted.